So, this is the first nice day of the year. I've been riding a couple times, but not necessarily uh, with uh, my same bike. But there's a little something different about today's ride. And that something different is my new bike. so stoked it's mountain bike season again. I'm not like a super advanced rider, so this is gonna be just kind of like an average guy review. Um, I mean, I ride two or three times a week. I absolutely love mountain biking, but uh, I'm not like fast. As you can see, I'm not in the best shape, but uh, I love mountain biking, and I think this is a, a big guy bike for a big guy who wants to go fast. My old bike was a Salsa Timberjack, and now that's a 27 plus bike. Um, and I just sold it to upgrade to this Trek Stash 7. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting to see the difference. I've rode this like once as like a quick like five mile loop the day I got it just cause I couldn't wait. Uh, but other than that, it's been sitting in my garage. I'm gonna take this guy out and just kind of compare it to my salsa. Um, a couple specs that are notable differences probably. Um, that salsa, like I mentioned, is 27 plus, um, 27.5 plus, so I think it had 2.7 or 2.5 inch tires. Um, this guy's a 29er, but it's a 29 plus, so I really liked the, the cushiony ride I had with that 27 plus, so I, I, something wanted me to keep that in the world, but I also wanted the 29 feel. So if I get sick of the fat tires, I can turn it into a standard 29er if I want, or if it's as awesome as I think, I'll just keep the 29 plus. Uh, these are three inch tires though, so these are, these are honking huge. Some specs I'm pretty excited about other than the, the big tires are, uh, I've got Eagle drivetrain now. Um, I don't know if I need it, but it's cool to have that extra gear. Uh, it's got NX Eagle. Um, I got a really decent fork on this bad boy. I had a Rock RockShox Judy on the other one, on my Salsa, and this guy's got, uh, it's called a Yari, a RockShox Yari with that motion control. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, these things are, it's robust. I, I already went tubeless with it, that's something to know, and man, the, you should see, I have those tubes in my bag, one sec. So, these big bad three inch tubes, they gotta weigh like a pound or two each, so just taking those out, I already lost probably five pounds off the bike. Uh, I'd say it's probably the same weight as my uh, 27 plus bike. Ah, this place is so packed today. I'm not the only one with the wise idea to go mountain biking on the nicest day of the year so far, wow. Got to take these things off. Can't be caught out here with reflectors, everyone's gonna think I'm a loser. Got this guy set up here. We'll give him a try today. <laughs> so I just probably showed you the clip of that uh, gimbal camera I have on the handlebars and um, not a good move, it turns out. Um, as I'm riding, it, it looks fine, like most of it, but then like if I go over the slightest bump, it goes like, a, you'll see. <laughs> just as a fair warning, I'm sorry the footage isn't better. All right. Oh, man. 
man. That rule. Going for it. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. But that footage looked terrible. Going through the garden. This thing is just taking on rocks like nothing. Oh, yeah. Going for this guy. Oh, that was sick. Keep going down. Tried to get air, like, oh, maybe. Wait a bit. Oh, that was almost a disaster. Oh. No, you're good. Is this closed usually? Or? No, I don't know. I just saw his ice for whatever reason. Can't remember which way I was going. All right. I know it was pretty muddy the other day. Was it? Yeah. Let's stick this way. I'm sure you'll pass me in like what five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Now we're gonna try out that eagle. Here comes the climbing. First time getting caught up. Not bad though. My pedals actually bottomed out on the rocks. I'm not used to that happening. Whew, okay, just a little baby ride. Still a little bit out of shape. Let's get into it. The fork on this thing. Oh, it's like clouds, my man. Um, and these tires just like... There's features on that trail that I've never just even attempted, but like the first one I went over, like that little rock garden, it, I just like breezed over it so easily that it gave me like the confidence to just try it, a bunch of the features that I've never done before. So I can't really say if this bike performs better, but it definitely gives me that like confidence because it's so robust that it just like, I knew that I was gonna not slide off the rock or whatever. It kind of comes with a combination between that, those three inch tires and the, uh, that fork, that Yari on there. The frame itself, the build, the geometry, I, I felt pretty comfortable on there. Um, I got a couple tweaks on the seat I think I gotta make. Uh, maybe just height or whatever, but I mean, it's going to be there, no problem. I also have never had a dropper post, so I only used that about once. Uh, but it's cool. Uh, I, I got to learn, learn it a little more. Now, if we could talk negatives, there's probably like two things that I could bring up uh, in comparison to my old bike. Is One, I bottomed out like twice with my pedals hitting like a rock or a root uh, while I was climbing. I've never really had that happen before. Um, it's probably just something I got to get used to, something to keep in mind, uh, make me a better rider probably, just trying to think through my lines a little bit better. The other thing is the way that this these tires are set up, I'm, I don't have the nimbleness, I think is the right word. There's a couple switchbacks where I had to take a really wide turn uh, just to stay alive there. And I think I probably could have made it I was just, I think it goes back to that confidence thing. I need to be a little more, uh, I could have like leaned into it a little more and probably been fine, but um, I don't know. I think it's just things I gotta get used to, but man, is this a fun bike. Um, I haven't looked at my ride yet, but I felt like I was cruising. I don't know if it just feels faster because I got that 29 instead of the 27 plus, so my pedals are getting me a little more uh, bang for my buck, but man, I, I felt I felt good. I'm excited about the purchase. Um, 
I gotta say, the, the Salsa Timberjack was still a great bike. There's really nothing wrong with it so much as uh, I've had it for a while and I was ready to try something new. Uh, so they're both great bikes if for whatever reason you're considering uh, the two of them. Uh, let me tell you though, that was a fun, fun ride. Uh, Stash 7 A+. If you found this fun at all, uh, or if you watched some of my videos before, uh, I have a podcast, so uh, check it out. We actually have a really cool latest episode. Uh, we had Biking with Bobo on, uh, the man rules, uh, so nice of him to come on the podcast. Uh, I'll have it linked. Um, it's called Local Roots Podcast. I do it with my buddy Brian uh, about mountain bikes, craft beer, uh, snowboards if you're into that during snowboard season. So yeah, if you're interested, I'd, I'd definitely go check out the podcast. Uh, at least listen to Bobo's episode. And thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll see ya. Ever heard this story, but I, I had a kid uh, hand me his BMX bike when I was in uh, elementary school i hit the first one did okay hit the second one did okay really <laughs> sent the third one got jacked up didn't touch a bike again until i was 30 wow <laughs> yeah, holy shit uh <laughs> but never down any real trails uh really uh, i got into actually got hardcore into mountain biking like late 20s early 30s damn so how long have you been riding oh, that's late yeah no kidding yeah, um, I've been riding for about 10 years now, 11 years. Uh, so Respect. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I'm, old balls. This makes I'm, me I'm, fear getting uh, or, yeah, fear getting old less, I think. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, yeah, yeah, I got a little less hair up top, and sure, I'm, I eat a fucking milkshake and my ass jiggles for two weeks, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs>